<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Tularosa, New Mexico, on July the 4th, 2021. Can you believe it? This is the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. It is right now, right now, right now, right now. And guess what? If there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it because right now it just went into the past. But having said that, moving right along to uh, what else? Oh, today for a video at lunchtime, I went to White, White Sands uh, National Monument in uh, near Alamogordo, New Mexico and did a little video. I know we've been there before, but we didn't, we've never been there on that particular day because we weren't there yet. But anyway, so we'll do that. And then I got a little surprise video. I ran across something on the way back to the RV park, and I did a short video, and I'll post it, too. It's just a little two- or three-minute thing. <clears throat> and then what else? Uh, as you know, I've been living in an RV a long time. And uh, what else? Uh, hey, Google, make us laugh. How did the fire fall in love? It found its perfect match. Mm -mm -mm. A young guy came running into the country store and said to his buddy, Bubba, somebody just stole your pickup truck from the parking lot. Bubba replied, did you see who it was? The man answered, no, but I got the license number. Mm. Sound like some of my buddies. <laughs> Yeesh. All right, guys, moving right along. Oh, I got, you know, yesterday, I, I, you know, I never stopped planning. You know that, don't you? But yeah, I, I did I did some drives around and stuff. You, and there, there's a, <laughs> the adventure continues, let me say that. Yeah, there's there's a lot coming up, guys. We, we, uh, <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a good one coming up here. I'll let you know as soon as it, as soon as I get, get further along. Yeah, and also just for those of you that might be interested or you know somebody that might be, I'm, pro I'm more than likely, I'd say I'm 90% sure I'm probably going to sell the two lots that I own in Lano, Texas, uh, even though I just spent uh, several thousand dollars getting the water and sewer and electric there hooked up and stuff. So, no, it's uh, I've got another plan. So we'll sell the lots and move on. Anyway, for comments, we've got John Hogg says... Uh, Buenos dias, senores de, de Midland, Texas, PC 7392 Fahrenheit, 6 miles an hour wind, southeast. Says a uh, uh, relative humidity, 88%, UV 12. Well, thank you, John, for the weather report from Midland, Texas, or nearby. Boondocking with Dennis, good morning. I am enjoying your New Mexico adventures. Me too. Good morning, Dennis. Check out Dennis's channel, Boondocking with Dennis. He lives in a pickup truck with a camper talk camper top uh, along the Gulf Coast of Texas primarily. Anyway, good morning, Dennis. Thank you for your comment. True Rock Spirit. This is a nice view, Rusty. Thank you. I cannot say it enough. You are always an inspiration to me. This summer, I'm going to make a road trip through Norway. I need freedom. Well, True Rock Spirit, do it. Do it. Do it. You will never regret it. And a hundred years from now, nobody will even know it, even yourself. RVing, living with the geezer. That site number 10 is a good one. Looking forward to a driving video going up the mountain to Cloudcroft. That's an awesome drive. Yeah, we'll probably do that one day when I get when I get hungry for another BLT from Dave's or whatever. I may may do that. They make a great, that was a good sandwich, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're going to do some stuff. Don't worry, guys. We're, we're going to get, we're going to keep going here. I got stuff coming up. And, uh, and when we get done with this, we'll do something else. How about that? Paul S., nice-looking little community there. I'd stay a while. Yeah, I will. Uh, only downside so far, it's a little warmer than I thought it was going to be because yesterday it was like 88, which, uh, you know, I, I can read that. on the. I saw that on the, the future weather forecast, and I didn't think with the low humidity it would be that warm feeling. However, since they've had rain in the area, and they not only are having higher temperature, well, it's not only the temperature so much as the humidity. The humidity's been holding around 40%, and uh, that makes it feel a little uncomfortable. So I kind of missed on that. Uh, but uh, we, we'll, don't worry, I, I, I'm flexible. I'll change. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, thank you, Paul S. Imee88 says comment on comment call. Aloha from the island of Oahu. Taking Today I'm visiting the USS Arizona Memorial. Well, good for you, Imee88. That's a July 4th thing. You could ask you could ask Google about it. Let's all have a nice day. Stay cool as always. Happy Fourth of July! Thank you, Imee eighty eight. Enjoy your tri your trip today. <clears throat> Imee eighty eight on driving Tularosa. I lo really love this area. I added this on my future travel plans. Thank you, Rusty. Stay cool. Yeah, it, there's. You know, if I tell you another interesting area to drive to is La Luz, La, L A, and then L U Z. It's just a little community, and then there's some, a road that goes out of there up into the mountains. It's pretty neat. I did that drive, and I'll post that video in a couple of days. Uh, Scotty Thompson, cool video talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. Tracy Phillips, great comment call, Rusty. Have a great day. You too, Tracy. Good morning. Lupe Lopez. Uh, hello, thank you for posting the video. That was on Airy Cafe near Cavallo and Percha Dam State Parks. I did that last year and I showed my, my plate of food. It was good. Yeah, it says, hello. Uh, that may be the owner, I don't know. Thank you for posting the video. It's really a treat seeing it because in 1960, my family lived there. My siblings and I attended Airy Elementary School and I was in kindergarten. We attended the church, etc. Well, anyway, thank you. Loopy, I'm glad that brought back some old memories for you. <clears throat> this was on RVing, on the fantastic uh, fan or max fan comparison. Uh, Simone de Bevior, or de Bevior, how you say it? It's a friend, de. Uh, anyway, it's, it's, uh, good morning, Simone. <laughs> Thanks for the review, Rusty. On your recommendation, I've ordered this fan model and subscribed to your channel. Happy trails and safe travels. Yeah, the Max Air fan is a better fan, as far as I can tell. <clears throat> well, for me it is, for sure. I've got one. I just had it added when I got this RV. E. Cornelius, Rusty, are you going to search for lots again in New Mexico and sell the lots in Lano? Uh, I'm always looking for things, guys. I mean, yeah, I, I searched. I, I drove around yesterday. I looked at some RV lots, actually. Uh, they just, uh, they're just not in a good location, and I do plan to sell the lots in Lano. I do. But I'm, I've got another plan. Now, I got something coming up. I'm already working on it. <clears throat> Never stops, guy. The The adventure continues. Uh, DBKY here. They say, never say never, Rusty, but I get it that I get it that that's been your experience. Take care. Yeah, you just keep going. Yeah. Paul Byram, two, the second. Don't walk too way, far away from Sparky. It might blend in with the white sands, you know. Pismo Paul. Yeah, it's pretty white. I mean, the sand is really white. Yeah, well, if you drive in far enough, it is. Uh, 4321 Group says, Rusty, if we all swat too many flies, the government will declare them a government-protected endangered species, and it will become against the law to swat them. Uh, believe me, it w and nothing would surprise me in the new world we live in now. Nothing. Uh, and NB, Rusty, I hope you will make the parade. No, I don't like crowds. Mm -mm, I'm not going to the parade. May you have a great 4th of July along with all your rangers. Every year that is what we do. We would start the 4th of July with the parade and now it will be our second year without a parade. Well, they've got parades all over everywhere and then they've got fireworks later, I think. Uh, Mike Ellis, uh, Ala Aldo Magardo. <clears throat> Mike Ellis says, the whole idea that you have to get rid of the Class C because you're not going to be driving it is actually ridiculous. You be you. Nobody says you have to live up to conventional wisdom. Uh, I'm not getting rid of it soon. I mean, I will get, I'll sell it eventually. I mean, uh, you know, maybe after a couple of years. Once I get, uh, if I get a place and settled, we'll see. Yeah, don't worry about me, Mike. I'm fine. You take care of Mike. I take care of me. H Hog 1, there's a closer way into Thule from Mountain Meadows after you leave the park and turn left onto Mountain Meadows Road, drive a half mile, and turn right onto the first street. Then go a couple of miles to Rattlesnake Road and turn left, much closer to Thule. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'll go with that. But I don't go to Thule that much. I go to, to uh, Alamogordo. Uh, John, again, John Hogg, uh, still have 2018 Coachman Clifford Cadet, 16 CFB for sale. 
It's very affordable. Go to Texas Odessa Craigslist, click for sale, click RV, click travel trailer, sort by price increasing. Okay, well, John, somebody buy John's 2018 Coachman Clipper Cadet 16 CFB. It's on Odessa, Texas Craigslist. Thank you, John. Good luck. Sanborn S. <clears throat> The smell of plants in the desert is something special. When you live in this region, you know what I'm talking about. To me, I am living the dream in this quiet part of the United States. It is a nice place, and it is quiet. And I have to tell you, the, and I mentioned this before, and I'll probably mention it again in videos, the Air Force Base here, Holloman Air Force Base, has over 20,000 people there, all right? That's a lot. And does that have a lot of influence? on uh, the population of Alamogordo in this area? Yes. Why? Because the Air Force gets the cream of the crop. You know, they get the students, the best students out of school because they have the best career opportunities, the Air Force. <clears throat> so here you get a group of 20,000 young people in a community or in an area that are going around and they're, you know, they're clean cut, dressed nice, good manners, you know what I mean? Walk, you know, proud. And, uh, yeah, that can't help but have a, a positive impact on the surrounding areas. Charles Tate, uh, said, he said Roundup gave him a disease. Well, that's, you're not supposed to drink it, Charles. Uh, carg, cargo, cargo one, or cargo, carg one. Rusty goes deep into the Texas topography, geography book. 1977 graduate here of Far San Juan Alamo High School. You know, I like that area down there along the uh, uh, Texas-Mexico border, uh, particularly like six months a year for the winter or for the fall and winter. Why? Because it's nice. Moon yeah, a lot of uh, snowbirds arrive there about November and stay there through the end of April. And, uh, you know, that's not a bad deal. Uh, Moonchild 55, Tularosa. It is, it is named thus for its abundance of tulips and roses. Okay, uh, okay, I haven't seen any of them. Alf, alpha Wolf, yes, the smell of wet creosote is something you cannot beat. Amazing smell. Yeah, creosote's the desert plant. And I have to tell you, the creosote little bush uh, has a root that's like iron. If you ever run over a, an old dead creosote bush and the root's sticking up, it'll blow a tire out, a big one. This is Lee. You don't know why they sing that color out was because that color was being. I don't know what you're talking about, Lee. Enjoy your day. I don't like that comment. I, I, Lee, I don't like that comment at all. Uh, here you go, Matilda. Matilda's got a little breakfast coming here. Thank you, Lee. If you got something negative to say, Lee, go say it in your closet or in the bathroom. Matilda, appreciate it. That was waffles with strawberry syrup. How about that one? Anyway, Mark Bahek, if you ever go to that little zoo in Alamogordo, uh, uh, the, build, the restroom, something about the restrooms. Anyway, I'm not into restrooms, Mark, but thank you for the point, uh, uh, comment. And I'm not into going to zoos, and I'll be quite frank with you why. I don't like to see animals pinned up. You know, even though they pin them up for reasons, so kids that would, that would never have seen an elephant or a giraffe or whatever uh, can see them in ca captivity. But to me, it's a prison for wild animals, and uh, it's just not, it, to me, it's depressing. To other people, they may get a big thrill out of eating candy and looking at uh, animals in jail. I don't. Samantha Rivas, the lot you are looking for is located at 602 Cedro in Thule. Okay, is that what I was looking for? Thank you. Jack in Florida, watch out for the snakes in that brush. Yeah, you bring up a good point. We'll talk about that later today. Yeah, I go, I go walking out in the desert now, but it's, it's, it, there's very little brush there. You can see clearly and, and, uh, you know, you'd have to, but, but, you know, all animals that live in the desert have a way of camouflaging themselves and so do snakes and other things. Uh, anyway, Traveling Andrew says, if you walk 22 minutes out and 22 minutes back, that's only 44 minutes. Now, I knew somebody would say that because I said I walked for 45 minutes. So he says, that's only 44 minutes, not 45. You know, Traveling Andrew, get you a life, man. <laughs> he said, 
He said, next time walk 22 minutes, 30 seconds. Whoa. You know, that, that's, you know, where are you at? Traveling, Andrew, get back on the meds, man. Get back in the closet. You know what I mean? <laughs> 44 minutes and 45. What the hell is that? Sierra Graves. Love the clouds. That was on Beer 30. Yeah, it was a beautiful day. And I've got a great sitting spot there. The only downside of it is like yesterday, I was going to sit out. If it had been a little breeze, it would have been okay. But it was almost dead calm. The temperature was about 88. Uh, and it was a little overcast. Been some rain around. A little humid. So I, I wasn't able to do my Beer 30 enjoyably yesterday. But breakfast I can do. Uh, anyway, Jimmy D, Climate Differences. Uh, it'll make it easy on everyone. 2,000 feet elevation difference between Capitan and Alamogordo is about 7 degrees day and night, winter and summer. No, that's true. You're absolutely correct, Jimmy, and, and that's on my mind. Sierra Graves, that gas station you're at has the best ground beef green chili burritos. Yeah, I saw them. They had a whole rack of them. Yeah, they're like three ninety nine dollars or something, they're, but they're good ones, big old, big old good ones. This is the same person. The wet creosote plant in the desert smells the best. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, WTBM123. Cool. Taz Mod. Hi, Rusty. Good after, Good morning, afternoon. Well, good morning, afternoon to you. Walter Pendleton. Thank you for your drive talk. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, this is driving and thinking. Yeah, I just, I'm just enjoying my life, guys. You know, and, and my videos are what they are. You know, I don't, I'm not uh, PewDiePie or any of the other multi-billion dollar deals. I'm just me, and I'm enjoying myself. It gives me something to do. And the fact that just some of y'all watch them is good with me. PJH, anytime I get homesick for New Mexico, I've always got Rusty to tell me how wonderful it is. <laughs> Thank you, Rusty. Well, you're welcome, PJH. It is nice. You know, it's a good, uh, it's just a pretty area for me. High desert, you, know, you got good views and stuff. I like that. I can drive around, see the mountains. No, it's fine with me. Kathleen Nice. A uh, very nice drive, nice little town and beautiful views. Thank you for sharing your days with us. It's like spending time with a friend. Well, that's the way I feel about you guys. I mean, I, I get to know names after a while. Well, it took, takes a while, though. I don't remember them, but <laughs> I do my best. A Guardian Pet Care and Massage, Jim, thanks for the ride along. I enjoyed it. Well, I'm glad you did. Jim and the dogs live in a van. He's got, like, well, he did have four dogs living in a full time in a van. Jeff Jones. Nice to be able to jump into the little white car and take a drive. Yeah, it is, and not worry about the price of gasoline. That's what I like, 47 miles a gallon. You know, I can just cruise around here for an hour and a half at, at uh, 30 or 40 miles an hour and burn $2 worth of gas, or three, whatever it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you, Jeff. Uh, we'll do a few more here and then shut her down. Uh, Julie Smith. Hello, Julie. Good evening, Rusty. My first name is Tula Rosa. My, oh, shit. <laughs> Wrong. Start over. Julie Smith, good evening, Rusty. My first time to Tularosa. It's lovely. I love the vast span. Looking forward to smelling the desert and feeling the nice weather. Thanks for the spin. You're quite welcome, Julie Smith. Okay, here we go. Brian Courtney. We'll do three more and then we'll shut her down here. Brian Courtney, the best parts of that little bit is when you twirled around to show your future sight and our beautiful star came into view as the mountain stood majestically in the horizon on the horizon well your good conversation was also the best part well it, if you're listening to me that's fine but really you can just enjoy the view you know i'm talking to myself mostly alf pup i seem to remember they have some nice tree-lined streets on the west side of tularosa uh, yeah i think they do actually uh we got ethel perry here okay now you're on the list I was waiting to see inside MDSE. I don't know what that is. Okay, thank you, Ethel. Last one, Shawshank Redemption. That's the person's name. It says, love you, Rusty. We're here no matter what you decide. Sorry if I didn't catch it, but what are your plans on the 4th? None. I'm just going to stay here. i got to do my laundry. Hope it's amazing and what you want. Your laugh is contagious, and I laugh back as I'm sitting passenger with you. Well, thank you, Shawshank. Enjoy your day. Here, we'll do this one. Daydreamer, catchy name. I always enjoy your drives. Wow, when you turn into the store parking lot, the mountains were gorgeous. I love the high desert also. Well, anyway, I'm glad you do, Daydreamer, and we'll do more and more and more. Let's see what we got here from this thing. Practice like you've never won. Perform like you've never lost. 
Okay, so that's genius, whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, we got some uh, another videos coming. We got more video. We didn't do the goat. Screaming goat coming in to give you a coat, a, ki a coat, a kiss. Gee, I, I, I'm on it today. But anyway, guys, from Tularosa, New Mexico, on a good morning. Uh, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Tularosa, New Mexico? The current temperature in Tularosa is 71 degrees. So it's 71 with a high of 90. So you see, that's a little bit warmer than I want. But it's supposed to cool down a little bit next week. But anyway, having said that, ladies and gentlemen, from Tularosa, thumbs up, carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. You just click on the link in the description of my video. It'll take you to Amazon and then buy whatever you choose and Amazon takes care of me and that's fine. Anyway, what else? Uh, uh, t -t 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 drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. You know what I mean? And the only way to really lose weight and keep it off is, ta-da, eat less. You don't want to hear that, but it's true. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet it is. Do it several times a day. You'll never regret it. And then what else? Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? <clears throat> because it's good for you. Uh, it'll, you'll feel better. You'll you'll feel better immediately, and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought, memory, everything that you have. Okay. So uh, common sense says add good ingredients. How easy is that? Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Do not watch the news. Why? Because it's the negativity from the whole world brought to you by professional talking heads that have an agenda and, uh, you know, and they're good and they're paid millions of dollars. OK. And, uh, you know, to get in your head and then you become a talking head, you know. So my advice is do your own research first. That's best option. The next option is read the news. Read it. <clears throat> And with that in mind, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until next time, be around noonish, enjoy your July the 4th, bye-bye.